But I think about it. Don't think, don't just do it just so you can defend the bike. I'm sorry, I'll slow down. Everyone says that as well, to be honest. But I will slow down. You want me to repeat myself? Yeah, go for That's it. no problem at all. So, no, uh, no. Thing is, it's about sincerity. It. It, honestly, it's not about argument. It's about debate. Yeah. It's about sincerity because every single person, from the natural inclination, knows it's that is. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Everyone from the natural inclination knows they would not be just to ascribe God to be a human because the question that I asked you is that is is a baby weak by nature? You said yes. Yeah. Is a baby weak by uh, in, his, in his essence? Is he weak? Of course he is. Does a baby cry? Yes. But when it comes to God, let's put the same attributes to God now. So God. God by his nature is all powerful, agreed? Yes. Most strong, yeah? Yes. All these attributes. So how does it make logical sense? Just think about this. A all powerful God at the same time is weak as well because he's a baby. Because ba for example, the baby needs to eat yes, food. You you're putting parameters of what God can and can't You are as well. Yes. You are as well. You know why? Because I asked you, can God cease to exist? You said, that doesn't make sense. Why are you asking this question? So you're using the same natural inclination that I'm using to affirm. Okay, let me ask you the question again. Can God cease to exist? No, I've heard all those questions. No, oh, so can you give me the answer if you don't mind? Why can he not cease to exist if he can do everything? Well, what would be the point of it? He came it's, down to it's a, exactly, it's against his majesty, right? It does not befit his majesty. It wouldn't make any logical sense for God to die because God is the creator, he is eternal. Yes? Exactly. So now let's put this argument to Jesus as well. If Jesus, for example, is a baby, he needed his mother to eat food. He needed to be protected. How can that be the same person that is all powerful? Because just like you said, just no, just like you said, why can't he? For example, God cannot cease to exist. Why can't he? The same principle that I'm using against with you, bro. Be consistent. Could Jesus protect himself when the when when, when the king when the king, um, king came around to, to, to actually try and kill the babies? He couldn't protect him. Yeah. So the point is, bro. The point is the reason why it doesn't make logical sense because, like I said to you, the foundation element for every person to understand religion is the concept of God. For example, the Islamic concept of God. We believe in one God. We believe in Tawheed. We affirm His attributes. We believe God is most powerful all times. God is all knowing all times. That's why when an individual came up to Jesus. Jesus and someone has asked when is the hour what did he respond with no one knows no one's in the heaven and earth knows except the father it shows for example if I submit my will to someone else for example yeah, but he put himself in the same position we are. That's okay so let's analyze this now yeah for example a child and a father yeah the child is submitting his will to the father because he's under the authority of the father same thing when it comes to Jesus we never see Jesus telling the father to worship him do we see that no, we do not see that. We always see God the Father commanding Jesus to worship Him, to you know, prostrate to Him. And the, the crazy thing is, the exact way that Jesus worshipped the Father is the exact way that Muslims worship Allah. The way we worship Allah is how? We prostrate on the floor. And what was Jesus doing in the Bible? Prostrating to the floor, now, to the God. Christians prostrate to the floor, they can do that. Okay, that's what the point is, that because Jesus is prostrating to the floor and He's prostrating to the Almighty, yeah, so it shows that God, I'm sorry, Jesus is inferior God because he's submitting his will to the God. Does that make sense? Look, why, why, why does that not make sense? If Jesus is submitting his will to the... Go on, sorry, I'll let you speak. Sorry? And, and, remember earlier, and remember earlier when I told you, Jesus himself never wanted to die. He, that's why he went to the yeah. garden to pray. He yeah. did not want to. Yeah, but bro, we need to go. Yeah. No, but the foundations though, like everyone has universal knowledge. You, the things that you're saying, it goes against your natural inclination. Because remember the brother said, it doesn't make sense for God to cease to exist. Why does it not make sense? Because it's against his majesty. Similarly, when God becomes a human being that goes against his majesty because for example do you, do you believe that God is bigger than his creation? Of course, yeah, of course he's bigger than creation. He's almighty, he's all powerful, he's the most high. So how can something that is bigger than his creation go into a creation that is smaller than him? What's the answer? What's the answer? What's the answer? Read Philippians No, read the, read the, read the, read the verse. You, gave, you came and give the verse. He humbled himself. Okay. And became obedient. He humbled himself. Yep. Did like himself to man. He became obedient unto death, even death so, on the cross. Hold on. Okay. Then it says, that then he was glorified. Yeah. Yep. He lifted up. And every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall bow. Okay, that's fine. So now we need to understand when we say, one second, one second, one second, brother. I'll let you speak. I'll let you speak. One second, one second. I'll let you speak, brother. Come on, one at a time. So when we, one second, one second, that's fine, that's fine. One, brother, let me speak. I'll let you speak. Okay, I'll let you finish. Let me know when you're done. Yeah, and when you were saying about when Jesus is relying on his mother, the question I'm asking is who supplied the food for the mother? Okay, then let's analyze this now. No, brother, I'll let you speak now. I'll let you. Who supplied the food for the mother? Not Jesus. Okay. Hold on. 
Okay, well, no. Jesus didn't supply okay, I'm going somewhere with it. I'm going somewhere with it. I'm going somewhere with it because God is all knowing, so He knew He was going to be in the baby's womb, so then He prepared everything before He came that He was supplied. Okay, I'll let you speak now, brother. Yeah? So, look, now we need to understand the concept of God limiting Himself. Yeah, let's see if this logically, one second, brother. Yeah, let's see if this logically makes sense. Yeah, so for example, when Jesus was a baby, He was eating food, right? He was eating food. Yes, agreed. Huh? Was Jesus eating food? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Do we agree that God by nature is self-sufficient? By nature? Yes, yeah, so, exactly. So when Jesus was eating food, does that still make him the same God that is self-sufficient? Which, which, okay. No, no, answer the question, please. I'm checking first if you understand what you're talking about. Okay, that's fine. Do you understand the spirit, soul and body? Brother, you're not answering the question, man. A lot of Christians no, do this. Do you uh, with, with all due respect, you're, you're with all due respect, you're not answering the question. Okay, I'm going to continue the conversation, conversation with you, bro. You that's fine. Let's continue the conversation. Every time you get a question you don't like. No, no, you, you, you Brother, you know. I, I asked you a simple... I'm just seeing, Listen, come in. I'm going to answer your question. Okay, answer my question. When I said... is Okay, do you want me to... Do you want me to say my question again? I'm checking to see what level of understanding you're at by asking you a question. Okay, one second, one second. Look, let me speak now, brother. Let me speak now, brother. You're seeing food. What does food feed? Does the natural food feed your body, your soul, or your spirit? Well, answer the question no, no, yourself. I'm it's a ridiculous question. question. He's asking me how, like, when you no, eat food, you is it your food? Is it your physical food? spirit? Listen, we don't so need philosophy quite, here. Look, one second. Philosophy. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Philosophy. One second. Well, right, you have to let me it's speak as well. Philosophy. One second. I'm gonna repeat my question one no, more time. Yeah. I'm gonna repeat to you. What, please let me speak. You're interrupting now. Brothers, not let me speak. He's not let me speak. Brothers. My objective is to see where your understanding is. Okay, let me speak. Let me speak then. Okay, let me speak. Wait, 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 wait. That's fine. I'm, I'm ready to do that. I'm ready. Let me speak, brother. Bro, he's not even let me speak. The question I'm asking. He's not being. Fair. Everyone is okay, seeing that you're not being fair. Let me respond. Don't bring everybody in if you can't stand. You, if you're gonna let me speak, are you gonna let me respond? Well, like this is crazy, man. Because come on, you don't let people natural, speak. Spiritual soul. Now, when you say in the natural form, which part of the body are you talking? Okay, are you finished now, yeah? Which part of the being are you talking? Being okay, you finished now, yeah? You finished now? Okay, cool. I the question. One second. The question that I was asking the brothers, yeah. Sorry, not the. I was saying that God by nature is self-sufficient, right? So when we say self-sufficient, suffi how do we define that? That means God is not in need of anything. Every, it makes sense, right, guys, yeah? So when Jesus was a baby, right? Okay, when he was a little baby, what, did he not require his mother for food and sustenance? Yes? Okay, absolutely. Uh, and one second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. And automatically, one second, one second. You agree with me, that's fine, yeah? So now can Jesus... One second, one second. Now, one second, please. Now, at that point, when Jesus was a baby, because of course, according to Christians, they believe in two natures, all right? And we can have already affirm that the Father is not Jesus and Jesus is not Father. So we're talking about as Jesus, as God, God being a baby, he was not self-sufficient because he needed to eat food. And God by nature, That's one second, one second, one second. And God by nature was self-sufficient. So what, did, what does that come up to? A paradox. Someone cannot be self-sufficient and not self-sufficient at the same time. For example, someone cannot exist. One second. I'm gonna finish off. I'm gonna finish off. I'm gonna finish off. One second. Just like, just like brother, brother. One second. I'm just gonna finish off. Yeah, brother. I'm gonna finish off. I'm gonna finish off. I'm gonna, one second. One second. Yeah, I know, brother. I don't know why it's, it's easy to comprehend, isn't it, brothers? Even a ten-year-old will agree with him. Yeah, but yeah, that's fine. Let's be respectful, but it's uncle. It's uncle. Okay, brother. Look, the thing is, just like it wouldn't make sense for God to exist and not exist at the same time. It wouldn't make logical sense. Same thing, for example, God being self-sufficient, but not being self-sufficient at that. Okay, go on. I'll let you speak. I'll let you speak, brother. God. Can, can God see to, can, well, he's, he's not being consistent. Let's test that, let's test that. Okay, let's test that, let's test that. Okay, one second. Yeah, I know, that's true. Okay, let, look, one second. Let's test, let's test you. That's fine, that's fine. No problem. Okay. I'm trying to see where he's understanding it is. To me, what you're saying doesn't make sense because you're playing on your own set of parameters what God can do and what can't do. Okay, that's fine. Brother, the reason, uh, with, with, with all due respect, yeah, you're being inconsistent. Why? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. The same principle, one second, one second, one second. Look, one second, with all due respect, I said you're being inconsistent. The reason why is the same natural inclination, the same reason. Allah says in the Quran, Afala ta'qilun, will you not reason? The same principle that you use, that it wouldn't make sense for God to cease to exist is this one second is the same parameters that we are one second one second one second one second one second one second answer the question can god cease to exist 
Is, is that what you're saying? Answer the question. Let him answer the question. He put me on the spot. Can God sees himself to exist? Can God sees himself to exist? Okay, can you answer the question? Yes. If you're not going to answer the question, honestly, I'm going to speak to him. Can God see? No, because you spoke for a long. Yeah. Let's let's check your level of understanding. Let's check of your level of understanding. Yes. Agreed. Don't can God? No, 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 no. You're diverting. You're diverting. You're diverting. You're diverting. Your question. What was my question? What was my question? What was my question? Listen. What was my question? Brother, he's not answering the question. Is it worth me speaking to him? No, he's not speaking to him. With all due respect, brother, I'm going to speak to you. He's not answering my question. Okay, cool. You know the parameters that you're saying about God, yeah? In, in regards to our understanding of God. I'm sure there's somewhere that your psychology okay. come into it is for a glass. This is Mohammed's glass and how he's taught you to understand. Of course, like even that's me. Why, that's why you come to conclusions. I can no, never come no, to no, no. Firstly, in Islam, we have something called fitrah. Fitrah is basically means your natural inclination. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said that every single baby, uh, every single individual is born with fitrah. It's their parents that either make them a Christian, Jew, or fire worshiper. So this basically means that we, me and you both right now, have natural inclination. We all have universal knowledge. Just like you would know that hitting a baby is naturally wrong, right? Yeah. Of course, why? Because of your fitrah. But Just like your God can send them to hell, though. What do you mean? If he decides somewhere in the Quran. You can send well, them to hell. Okay, one second, one second, you, you brother. One second, you made a big claim. One second, brother. You made a big claim. One second. You made a one second. You made a big claim. One second. One second, brother. Listen, we have to speak from knowledge, bro. Did you just say that in the Quran it says babies can go hell? <laughs> yeah. If, if, if he doesn't, I've, I've looked at it somewhere. I've seen it somewhere that I mean, you can say it's not true, but. That he decides who is and who is going to, going to heaven. Allah decides, yes. Allah is the ultimate yeah. judge. We believe Allah is the judge, okay? So he decides who's going to go Jannah and Jahannam. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set criteria for his people to follow him. For example, we believe Jesus, Moses, Noah, they all had revelation that they conveyed to the people. And the people at the time of Jesus, they would be the Muslims. Why? Because Muslim means submitting your will to God. Okay, you've heard all that before. But the thing is, what we need to understand, is, like I said to you, is the foundations. The foundation is the concept the of God, wrong, and you're telling you're telling me. Okay. You 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 Let's ask him, let's ask him the question, brother, let's ask him. Okay, one second, one second. Person knows Jesus for their heart and everything else, and it's repented, and acknowledge Jesus as their Lord and Saviour. I'm afraid there's nothing can happen to him as far as that. He's been accepted. So, so okay, one second, brother. He, he now, you're putting the parameters that now he kills someone who's a non-believer, Bro, is that right? With all due hell. respect, brother, he's gonna die. Let's go to the foundation, brother. Yeah. Look. Wait, so once again, wow. let's test, brother. Let's test your parameters. No okay, no that's choice. fine. That's what he said. Brother. Yeah. I'll ask him. 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 Habib, I'll ask him. One second. One second. Brother. One second. Brother. Brother. I'm gonna ask you the question. Do you worship a baby? Why worship a baby? Because Jesus was a baby. So do you worship a baby? No, I worship Jesus. Okay. One second. One second. Was wasn't Jesus a baby as well? Yes. So weren't you worshiping Jesus as a baby? I wasn't around him, so I, I don't understand. I'm just he was a baby. Brother, come on, no, answer, listen. He was a baby. Let's, yes. Let's, let's, look, we agree that Jesus was a baby. So why is Jesus was a baby? Was he still God? Yes. Okay. So were you, when you worship God, you're worshiping a baby, yes? I, I suppose. The, I, I suppose when the, when people came to see Jesus, X many years after the fall in the most in the yeah. thing, yeah. they came before him, didn't they? And they offered him. So the so they were worshiping a baby then, yeah? When Jesus was born. No, it was being Jesus. But you agree that Jesus was a, uh, Jesus as, as a baby was God as well. Yeah. So w wasn't the people that worshiping Jesus worshiping a baby? At that time, when he was a baby. Brother, listen, look, one second. Well, no, no, I, don't, I don't know what you're trying to get at. It's all due respect, you're not answering the question. You're saying one thing, you're saying the other thing. I ask you, look, you, me and you both agree. No, I don't agree, stuff for Allah. You agree that Jesus as a baby was God. You agree with this. But when I ask you the question, do you worship a baby? You said no. Jesus was a baby, so therefore he was worshipping a baby, yes? Brother, the reason why I'm saying this, yeah, listen, let me tell you why I'm saying this. Brother, listen. Listen, the reason, listen, the reason why I'm saying this. Okay. 
I don't know. Okay. This is, this is my friend, you say he's God, didn't he? One second, one second. No. Remember, I said to you, brother, it's really simple. It's really, really simple. For example, for example, Hindus, Hindus, they worship 300 gods. Other individuals worship a man as a god. But we know God as his nature is most powerful, most knowing, and he's bigger than his creation. It wouldn't make any logical sense because Allah says to use our reason. So when we're using our reason, it wouldn't make any logical sense for a person, an entity that's bigger than us is inside us at the same time because Allah is the most high. He's the most knowledgeable and he's the greatest. So that's why the only thing I'm saying, I'm not trying to confuse you honestly, I want you to understand, I want you to comprehend and I want you to speak from your natural inclination. You know it does not make sense for a God to become a baby because in order for a God, okay, so look, if so do you worship the baby then? If it's not true, did you, did you worship the baby? What do you mean? Who worshiped Jesus? Jesus, when he was born, did you worship him? I see Jesus, he grew up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when he was a baby, when Jesus was a baby, at that time when Christianity, was they worshiping him at that time? When he was a baby, because you said he's God. So that means even if he was a baby, he was God. So were they worship him? Yeah. You know what, I'm not, I'm not trying to get around this, all right? But I am God. Fuck idea. What you you know why? You know why? You know why? Christianity is not a logical religion. With all due respect, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. That's why most Christians are not able to uh, explain the Trinity. It doesn't make any logical sense at all. That's why. Let me tell you about Islam. What do you know about Islam? What, what do you know about Islam? What do you know about Islam? I know. Well. What do I know? I, the, the, I'm not as eloquent as you. I'm not eloquent. No, no, I'm just no, a normal no, no, person. No, no, yeah, I'm no. nobody. No, no, you're nobody, but you, 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 string your, you string your words a lot better together than I can. Right? It's not about that to be fair no, though. No, no, it is. It's, it's about, about collecting information. I agree with you. And putting so, it together. So let's reason. And, and to come out with it. I'm not that type of person. No, but, you, I, but I know. You don't need to be. I know, I know. You could be a kid as well. I know. If you've got, if you've got, uh, you've got the Bible. Yes. And you've got the Quran. Yes. All right. Yes. I know they don't match up for a start. The other thing I know is, I mean, like, no, we don't need words. We're talking about. No, no, That's fine, get to your point, brother. Yeah? About, um, No, I, I, see, I don't get too, too crude. Bro, can I just say something if you don't mind? Yeah, listen, I'm what I'm trying to say to you. I'm not trying to confuse you. I'm not trying to use eloquency. No, no, the the no, things no, that I'm saying. Trying, yeah, just look, you are. yeah, because, no, because in, in, not... Allah tells us in the Quran as well, yeah, when it comes to the revelation that Jesus and Mary used to eat. The reason why God did this is in order for us to reflect. That Allah tells us to reflect upon His signs. And indeed, these are for the signs of. Un the signs, for example, it wouldn't make any sense for a person that is God to eat food. The reason why it wouldn't make sense because God, I, I said this to you many times. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm getting, I'm not sure if I'm getting anywhere. I'm repeating myself a lot to be honest. So I'm going to end off the conversation. I'm going to tell you what Islam says about our religion. Yeah, let me tell you what Islam says. So Islam, we believe in all the prophets. Yeah, we believe in Moses, we believe in Noah, we believe in Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And all these individuals, they came with a message to convey the Allah's revelation. So I'll give you some explanation. So Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he came with a message to worship God. He came with the exact same message of Jesus, despite them being 600 years apart. And he came with the worship of one God, just like Jesus has said in the Bible. Bro, I'm giving you the Islamic. Just explain something. How old was his wife when he was married? Bro, listen. I can answer the question, no problem. You want to speak about Aisha then, yeah? So the Prophet married Aisha at the age of six and he consummated the marriage at nine, yes. Okay. So I'm not going to go too far that way. Okay, it's really simple to be fair. What about the war? The war he went into, and he he got married to one of the wives. Wives, Sophia. Sophia. Yes. Same day yes. that he won the battle. Yes. So, Look, would you call that rape or not? One second, one second. Okay, well, you mentioned two points firstly. Yeah? First, one second, one second, brothers. One second. Firstly, brother, it shows that you're not able to answer from your natural inclination that Jesus, it doesn't make logical sense for him to no, be God. I can't so, that, that's answer. fine. That's fine. You I'm can't answer. That's, that's fine. So, I can explain to you about Aisha. Radiallahu anhu. So, we can see even Christian scholars in the 17th century. Do you know what the age limit of marriage was in the UK in the 17th, 18th century? What's that got to do with just it? Just answer the question if you don't mind. Basically, it. It any... Basically, the age just 200 years ago, the age was seven for the consummation of marriage. Yeah? Okay, the marriage in the UK alone. So Islam, just to give, let me give it. That's fine. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. One second. You know the gypsies. Right now. Yeah. What age do they yeah. get married? But, yeah, I understand. One second. One second. We're not going. No. 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 No.
She was not a child when they consummated marriage. And the proof of that is, the proof of that is, for example, some individuals, they claim the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, God forbid, uh, Sufrullah, they call him a pedophile. In order for someone to be molested by a pedophile, that individual must have mental defects. That person must have mental illness. Aisha radiallahu anhu and her became the biggest scholar of Islam, yeah. biggest female scholar of Islam. Number two, we can see there was an experiment done for fishes, yeah? So there's an experiment done on fishes, and once they were in the hot climate and then the cold climate. When fishes were exposed to hot conditions, they matured much more physically quicker as well. Okay, that's number two. And another thing is, yeah. But the diet then it wasn't that good. One second, so and we can see. No, 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 listen. They you're not getting the point. They would have been able to brother, brother, brother listen, you're not getting the point. Sorry, brother, yeah. So, and of course, we can see at that time the life expectancy of an individual was much less. What was the life expectancy? All these people were going to wars, people were dying quick. So, of course, in order to multiply naturally, you would have to marry at the early age. But the point is, though, none of the enemies of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was a pedophile. No one said that. They called him a liar, they called him a magician, and none of them called him a pedophile. But bro, the point is, one second, I'm gonna finish off. I'm gonna conclude the conversation. The point is, I'm gonna leave him something, yeah? I'm gonna leave you with something, brother, yeah? I'm, brother, I can answer all your questions. I can I can answer by Sophia. One second, brother, don't answer. The reason being is that, bro, we're going to so many different topics here. Yeah? We've already established, you're not able, like you said it yourself, you're not able to logically explain the Trinity because you know it doesn't make sense according to natural inclination. So what you're doing, what you're doing is, that just like normal Christians, they're saying that, oh, in the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, why should Aisha at this age? Bro, bro, Look, but the exactly thing is, it's not worth it. But bro, may, may Allah give you her exactly. But I'm gonna finish up. You okay. can speak afterwards. No, but I'm gonna finish up. Okay, I'm gonna finish up. Promise. But brother, all I'm gonna say to you is, may Allah give you hadaya. And you know what we say is that. You know, if someone becomes a Muslim, all of the sins are forgiven, except for example, debt. Okay, one second. And thing is, you know, the concept of God is the most important element of every religion. And you know, you can't explain or even comprehend the Trinity no, because against God's nature, you know it doesn't. It doesn't but let's conclude now, let's conclude. Depend. It's not it going anywhere. What things don't depend on? How clever you talk. Or how you do? Because I mean, oh, you can, you can okay. have a non-clever brother, brother. Muslim. Look, my duty. I'm finishing. Wallah, brother, I'm finishing off. Look, my duty as a Muslim is to convey the message. Allah gives the hadaya. Allah gives the guidance. So take care of yourself. It was nice talking to you. And hopefully, you think about this. Yeah.